Good morning everyone, so I just want to give you a quick review of how to use Excel. I know the last video did not contain the best audio, so I'm re-recording this for all of you, um, both distance and in class. Uh, so as I mentioned before, Excel is a spreadsheet program. Uh, basically what it does is it is a way to work with numbers, uh, strings, lots of different types of data in a format that allows you to place those numbers in what's called cells. As you can see on my screen now, I have cell A1 highlighted. So every column has a letter associated with it, and every row has a number. Uh, columns uh, are basically the uh, like a column in a building, right? It's a, a long, um, the up and down area and then the across area is a row. So it's just like a table you might uh, deal with in any other discipline. Um, however, uh, we're, today we're working with numbers, right? And so if you remember uh, some of the calculations that we did with the recharge runoff document included addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Today I will review those again uh, in case you didn't have any experience with that previously. To start, we will double click on A1. Double clicking is uh, left clicking and you just do it twice as if you were opening an icon on the uh, on the computer, right? So you double click, it selects A1, you can tell that it is selected because the cursor blinks there, awaiting input. Now we put in add, right? Or well, now we put in data one. Okay. Then I can do the same thing. I can double click on B1 and put data two, right? And so to enter the data after inputting it, I press enter. Uh, it's just similar to a text box you might input uh, things into as well. So in data one, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, and five, just by pressing the number and then pressing enter. So then I do on this side, I will do two. So I press two, it inputs it, then I press enter. 3, enter, 4, enter, 5, enter, and 6, enter. Great. Um, and if I wanted to um, put, say, replace these two, I could just hover over it. So select it with the arrow key or with my mouse, right, by selecting it there. And then I could just press 1 and 2, and that would actually rewrite it. So if I go over it, I can do that very easily. Great. So that's how to input data. Uh, you, you will need to do that at some point, but let's focus on the mathematical operations that you can do with uh, Excel. Uh, so for those of you who've had no experience with Excel, this will take you uh, through the process of doing basic mathematical operations using the Microsoft Excel or OpenOffice version um, of a spreadsheet processing program. To start, with every mathematical operation, we always put an equal sign. The equal sign tells the computer that we plan to do a mathematical operation. After the equal sign, we can select, just as we clicked cells before, cells uh, such as A2 and B2, right? So we can click and we can select all of these cells just by clicking. You can also move it with the arrow keys, just as before. In this case, we will select cell A2, and we will add, by having a plus sign, uh, it to B2, making the sum of data 1 and data 2. Then we press, as always, enter. What we can do now, we could go through and manually input uh, A3, B3, A4, B4, and, and sum all of them, but that might take a bit of time. Instead, we can click on the small right-hand bottom side of the cell when we can see we get this, this uh, dark plus sign, and we can drag it down. And if you look here, what this does is it continues the same mathematical operation down across the rows in a single column. So we've just saved some time, so that's great. Next, we will do subtraction. We can do the same thing as before, A2 minus B2, 
and then press enter we get negative one this makes sense this makes sense and we just drag down and this is giving us the same thing we can also multiply the operator for that is the asterisk and we do the same thing once we put the two in press enter we can drag it down or double click what I just did there is double click and it fills it um, and then finally we can divide and that's one a, a2 divided by uh, b3 and divided by is the uh, slash and then we can drag that down so this is how you add subtract multiply and divide um, using Excel these are the basic operations that you will do one thing to note is in many cases we will give you an Excel spreadsheet to look at and to work with one of the most important skills that you'll need to have in Excel is being able to look at the spreadsheet program and hover over one of the cells to see what the formula is to understand the units associated with that formula let's say for example that this data was in centimeters and this data was in well let's keep them consistent centimeters as well well let's say this one was in uh, centimeters squared right then the division itself is centimeters divided by centimeters squared right so we would have different units after that mathematical operation than we did initially this is important to think about um, and something I mentioned before unit conversion uh, so keeping co units consistent through time uh, is something to think about and I can post some uh, links on doing that if you are interested uh, but it's just something if you hover over the item and you write out the units like that um, within the data columns in Excel uh, I think that'll be very useful for you. Uh, keeping track of units is always important to do whether whatever fields you're in, especially though in water resources. So if you have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out to me via email. Um, other than that, thank you very much for listening and uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks.